Well, in good health, as far as human anatomy goes, you would think that by now, doctors would have identified every single one of our parts a couple times over. You would think that, but Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain why some are suggesting we add a new organ that was not previously <laughs> recognized. So did we just grow this over time, like <laughs> yes. evolve, or were yes, we born it's evolution. with this? <laughs> well, not quite. It's kind of a rebranding of sorts. So, you know, most sources actually recognize that we have 78 discrete organs in the human body. Of course, the brain, the heart, the lungs, the liver, and the kidneys are, of course, the most vital. But skin, for example, that's considered an organ. Actually, it's the largest, and so is the stomach, the eyes, or the pancreas. But what about the stuff that connects the intestines? Well, that's called the mesentery, and a recent paper suggests it should qualify as a 79th organ. Now, strictly speaking, there's actually nothing new about the mesentery. Leonardo da Vinci described it in his time in anatomy. Students have learned about it for centuries. But when most people think of the intestines, they think of the tubes that transport our food. Now, you gotta stay with me here. This snake is the best representation I could come up with as far as intestines <laughs> nice. on short notice. <laughs> nice. The part that doesn't get much attention is the mesentery, which is represented by this folded fan. It's attached to all of your intestines, and it's the stuff that helps keep the intestines in place. Without it, they would just kind of slosh up into your belly and kind of get kinked and twisted up like this twisted loose snake is. Well, the mesentery, it also holds blood vessels and immune tissue that go to your intestines. Now, the reason that anatomists have not considered the mesentery as a unique organ in the past was that it wasn't universally appreciated as a single continuous structure, but a recent a recently published paper points out that it's not only a single structure, it's also critical to the function of your bowels. And although it's not technically part of your bowels, it is something that is necessary for your bowels to work. Now, the interesting thing is becoming an organ is not something that's decided by anyone in particular. In other words, there's not like a naming committee that says, hey, you're now an <laughs> organ. But considering that the mesentery does actually have some very unique functions. It has immune function, it contains visceral fat that has hormonal function, there may be an opportunity now to start thinking of the mesentery as something that's very different and important and really have some more importance in our body than it has in the past. It's more than structural because to me if it's just structural then that's what tendons and ligaments and things like that do. Right. It's more than that thing. Exactly. It's not something that can just be lumped as mesentery. It's almost got its own unique function and that's where the sort of push, as it were, to make it an, its own organ. It's is like trying to decide if Pluto is a planet. <laughs> That's right. Well, sort of. I yes. know what to call in six for tomorrow. So my <laughs> is That's right. So. Yeah, exactly. It's work. Yeah. Sore mesentery. That was great. It's my favorite story of the day, Doc. Thank, Thank you very much you, for that Doc. explanation. <laughs> Love it.